I can't wait for people to find out what your name used to be on this show. What? Stinky McBiggleston? I never was that. Yes, you were. No, I thought we moved past that and deleted all those videos. We did delete the videos, but I'm just saying that's lore. Yeah, I was never that. I thought you were at a point in your life where you could accept that <coughs> and you wouldn't mind. Like, people find old pictures of us and stuff now, and they kind of know stuff about our lives. They dig into the past, you know? Stinky McBiggleston. Yeah, that was you. I haven't heard that name in a long time. And as always, I'm joined by my darling co-host, Stinky McBiggleston. See, remember that? The only way to move forward is to accept the past. <laughs> I was Stinky McBiggleston. And in a lot of ways, you are Stinky McBiggleston. It's Jack Harlow! I gotta go. Yeah, we gotta, gotta bounce go. out of here. <laughs> Music is over, I guess, yeah. so... Call the mayor. I guess the mayor. Yeah, I call them. Get the mayor on the phone. Who do you talk to when like shit's wrong? I just call nine one one usually. See what they're up you to. You call the cops? Not the cops. Oh. I asked for the ambulance one. Oh. And then I'm like, no, you don't understand. Jack Harlow has more monthly listeners uh. than than Kendrick Lamar. And then he's like, well, ain't that just the way? <laughs> you know what uh. I mean? <laughs> That's kind of the end of combo. So no one can help us. No. I'm so fancy. You already. Fancy, Iggy Azalea and Charlie XEX. You already know my hot take about this song. Oh, it's one of the best ever. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody hates this song. We talked about it in other videos yeah. and we get absolutely flamed for it. I love this song. When this song came out, I was listening to it on repeat with my I'm, friends. I made a highlight video to this. A highlight video. So you dunking, hitting trays. And it was like a mix because I was only playing JV at the time. So I only had like a few actual game highlights, but then I like edited in park highlights. <laughs> oh, you just at the park. Pick up ball. So it was like I was for the streets but sometimes I slip on the jersey and play for the school. But like dunks at the park, crazy passes at the park, and then like a few fundamental plays on JV, like a, like a hard screen. I'm so fancy. What's the point? Oh my God, what? <laughs> you put them on the list. They go on to have their own careers. Who cares? I mean, yeah, it's just like any award show or magazine cover. It's like, it doesn't really matter who's it's on meaningless. it. meaningless. I know, but nothing to hang your head over, you know? <sighs> Listen, I know that you're pretty bummed that Dignan wasn't on the list this year, but to be fair, he's never released a song. It's just like that wouldn't make any sense. It's literally better than everyone on there. That's fine, but he's the co-host of a semi-popular YouTube channel who doesn't even rap. He does though, he raps to me in his car. And it's really good. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. Like I'll give him words, I'll just say something. Yeah. And then the next line, he puts it in perfectly, no matter what cadence or flow he's using, he just incorporates what I say into a stream of consciousness rap that always flows perfectly. It's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, listen, it's impressive, I admit, sure, and it's fun, and it's cool, and I like the guy, but it would not make sense for the list, man. I mean, it just, they never pick somebody who's never released a song. He did the whole alphabet. Each word he'd start a bar with was symbolic of the alphabet in order, and he went all the way to C. What did he use for X? Xylophone. Okay, I figured it was. Xylophone <laughs> yeah, is a probably. freaking sick. And KSI, shout out to KSI. 23.7 million subscribers. That's like a lot. Oh, fine. KSI, we will do a collab with you on your channel. Please let us on your channel. It would be so big for us. I mean, honestly, it'd be, it'd be huge. So we go on Sidemen. Sidemen would be sweet. You guys already do the guessing games with the music. Come on. We're like naturally, we'd fit in. We can do Great British accents too. Great Britain accents? Great British accents. Yeah. Oh, Great Britain. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I can do a Great Britain accent. <laughs> Which of these pop albums received the highest score on Pitchfork? Ooh. Which one? All right, we've got Harry's House by Harry Styles, Paying by Caroline Polachek, Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa, and Starboy by The Weeknd. What is this face you're doing? I'm just, I'm pretending to still be interested. Oh, because you already have won the game. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's the face you usually make when I'm telling you like a story, like something emotional from my life. Oh, this is such a good story. What detail could come next? <laughs> That's a real bummer. That makes me feel not so good. Well, you talk a lot. Ah, well. <laughs> you know what's crazy today when I got here? What? I went to wake Grant up and in his room, he was cleaning his extensive Stetson collection. He's got an extremely extensive Stetson collection. An extremely extensive Stetson collection. Yeah, I walked in his room and he was steaming his extremely extensive Stetson collection. Oh, interesting. And you have to steam hats like that because they're old and musty. You should check it out sometime. Grant, do you mind showing him how extensive your Stetson collection is after this video? 
video? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, cool. So wait, in your room, I mean, is there a section for your extensive Stetson collection? Ah, there is one exception to Grant's extremely extensive Stetson collection. What is it, like a fedora? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think Trippy would have stopped after a couple? I mean, how many love letters you gotta write? Anytime someone names an album a sequel or a threequel or a four or a five or a six, especially when it's someone like Trippy Red, where the love letters, none of them seem to like tie together. <laughs> right. I'm like, why wouldn't you just name it something new and exciting? Yeah. I feel like more people would be excited for the albums if you just named them something new. If you're a rapper and you're about to release Feed the Streets 4 or whatever, just call it like Fluffy Pink Cow and the Submarine Heist. You know? Because if, if, if Trippy Red releases that, I'm listening to it. Yeah. Like, I don't care <laughs> what singles come out before or whatever, I am listening to that album all the way through. In parentheses, NATO's a joke. <laughs> like, Whoa! Oh, he's getting political. <laughs> I fear for the answer of this one, but I think I think I got it. I mean, there's not a good one here. It's not like you're gonna be relieved by what you're <laughs> Woo! Thank God it's Tom McDonald. He deserves it. At least he writes his own music. <laughs> At least he's not rapping about women, cars, and money. Yes, what my suburban father just said. <laughs> Listen, I am not the target audience for this, but let me just say your music has reached me at my soul, Tom. <laughs> Finally, someone out there brave enough to speak the truth in a sea of lies. Thank you, Tom. Drain the swamp of <laughs> rap. But Big Thief is like, that's my web kind of album. You know oh, what I mean? You're what now? It's like just an album when I'm feeling kind of like, oh, yeah. Like I'll turn, I'll turn that on so I can really get all that out. Yeah. Hey, everyone feels a little, oh sometimes, you know? Uh -huh. And honestly, this generation is learning a valuable lesson in being vulnerable and not covering up those moments when you do have to <laughs> Yeah. It's okay it's to like fine. share your feelings, it's you know? Totally I mean? fine. <laughs> yeah. Some days you just wake up and you're a little oh. <laughs> You know, yeah, it's perfectly normal. Everyone feels like that from time to time. Yeah, stop putting up this masculine front. If yeah. you are going through something and you do feel like you're like, <gasps> oh no, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Let it out. If you keep yes. that stuff bottled up, then someday it won't even be a, oh, oh, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Yeah. It won't even be that. It'll yeah. be more like a, like an anger, you know? Yeah, like a. Right. <laughs> if we ever get invited to go to Hot Ones, I want you to chew up the wing and spit it in my mouth. Oh, so I'm the <laughs> chewer and you're the swallower. Yes. Oh, that could be a good strategic move so that we don't overwhelm ourselves with the heat. Exactly. I I've always wanted to do Hot Ones because I have so many health problems. My IBS, can you imagine eating the, like, the four hottest wings on, oh my gosh. Vibeer's the on deck. And I'm allergic to so much stuff. I could be the first person to have an allergic reaction on hot ones. That would be so fun. That would be sick, actually. I'm sure they have doctors on hand, right? Niche YouTube celebrity <laughs> dies on hot ones. <laughs> I thought these would be like, you know, Captain Jelly Beans or like <laughs> Sparkle Dog. You know what I mean? Something more extreme. These are adult terror therapist professor. Three of these are basically like titles. Yeah. <laughs> like, like they're like jobs. Yeah, like weird. Professor, therapist, adult, or terror. <laughs> professor Macklemore, can we get an extension on tonight's assignment? Why can I see that now? Yeah. Like he could go be a professor right now. Yeah. Professor Macklemore, I wanted to ask you about the homework <laughs> this weekend. And he's like, oh yeah, for sure. I've got time. I got a booth at the club tonight. Come by. <laughs> I've got a club walkthrough to do, but after that, just give me a call. I'll be at home in the study. So when people say somebody's in a vegetative state, uh -huh. Why do they say that? Oh. Like, I understand that vegetables are alive, but don't really do anything. But so are a lot of other things. Like, yeah. what, like what if we said, like, he's in fruit mode? You know? <laughs> <laughs> like he was in a terrible accident, and now he's in fruit mode. <laughs> Doc, how is he? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> He's in fruit mode. <laughs> or maybe like, I don't know, we were able to pull her from the car, but she's in kind of a tree situation. <laughs> you know, she's kind of tree-like. Yeah, I don't know why we landed on vegetative. When somebody's like brain is alive, but their body is dead, they're mm -hmm. just like, he's a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy to say that. Oh my God, what'd you do to the table? <laughs> oh geez, hey, you all right, buddy? <laughs> hey, listen. I got a to drink. I told you you can drink before the episodes, but if you drink too much, then it's not going to be fun. I like the whole ring spinning. No, I feel like I'm wobbling. Well, you, you are wobbling. <laughs> the room's not. Oh, he's wolfing again. Yeah. I don't feel so good anymore. Sounds like a speedboat. You know what? On second thought, I can kind of see why Kenny doesn't want to work with us. <laughs> 
I mean, if there's a title track called The Big Bang on Buster Rhymes' album, how did they not use it for the TV show? Well, they had Bare Naked Ladies. Ah. <laughs> it's a tough call. Buster Rhymes, Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> oh, why is Buster Rhymes here? That's my question. He's a hitter. I know, but like, why is he here? Yeah, like, is he here as the decoy? Like, what's the deal? I was asking my mom the same thing last Thanksgiving. Why is Buster Rhymes Mom, here? Mom, why is Buster <laughs> Rhymes here? He's not in our family. He's a close family friend and he didn't have anywhere to eat for Thanksgiving. It's not true. He's never been to a Thanksgiving of ours before. <laughs> yeah, but he, I mean, he's usually with his own family. <laughs> he's using my plate. <laughs> Buster, you want another beer? <laughs> uh, do you have any IPAs? <laughs> That's my Buster Rhymes impression. <laughs> um, do you have any IPAs? I'd like something with hops. I'm looking for a strong ABV brew that <laughs> smells like sawdust. I'd rather fly coach than drink a light beer. <laughs> oh, Buster, <laughs> you kill me. Which of these albums was not included in the Rolling Stones list of 200 best rap albums of all time? This is a new list that Rolling Stone put out that people are very upset with. <laughs> Mostly for the placement of Cardi B's album yeah. being very high on the list. I believe 16. Mm -hmm. And again, Dignan left off another important hip-hop He's never <laughs> released an album. What he did the other day in the backseat of my car while we were smoking a blunt was an album. It was the best album I've ever heard.